Now, is this the farm of the future, impervious to the weather? It's a three-storey tower of crops being grown inside the lobby of Birmingham food giant East End Foods. Four years in the planning, the new farm is the largest of its type in the UK. We sent our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar along to see how the first ever crop was looking. Could this be the future of farming? Crops orbiting artificial light filling the lobby of East End Foods in Birmingham. It is pretty warm in here, I have to say, but obviously the plants, like uh, this lettuce that's just drifting past, really seem to enjoy it. Now at three storeys high, they think here this is the largest urban farm of its type anywhere in the UK. And these trays contain the very first crops. It's all been built here in Britain, but it's being run with the help of expertise from India. Parsley, lettuce, then uh, coriander, spinach, all these uh, leafy vegetables work very well here, no problem. The trays of seedlings arrive here in the basement and are planted up and then moved to the urban farm itself. This is the first crop though, so does the system need any tweaks? Definitely there's a lot of tweaking going on. Uh, this is very much the first harvest. We are ready now to harvest uh, a lot of the vegetables which are growing. Um, and uh, it's very much experimental at the moment. Once we have got used to it and we are, uh, we've done a few crop cycles, I think that we're going to have some very interesting results. So this is a plant's eye view as they slowly drift around the lobby. And if you're wondering why they move at all, well, it means the plants are evenly exposed to the artificial light and they grow up nice and straight. And all this is a four-year passion project for the boss of East End Foods. We urge people to cut out their meat by 10, 15% and increase the vegetables. So you could go with the nutrient and grow it in your garden and enjoy the same kind of facility as indeed you see there. One day, every big company might have a lobby full of lettuce for the local community. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.